guys, it's Bren, and today I'm here with my review of Current, and yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as in my last two videos because I am just filming a lot tonight because work is crazy, so I have time, I'm gonna do it now, um, and it's dark out, and that's why my lighting sucks, etc. but here we go, let's talk about the candle. So this is one I've tried in both versions. I first got this little single wick at the single wick sale, and I talked about that a little bit in my haul video with this, and I'll link to that below, and then I went back and I got the three wick because I liked the little one and I'm surprised um, because it is kind of primarily a floral scent and I think that maybe the name kind of had me thinking of it in terms of a fruity candle but but really it is pretty floral so on the little one it says made with geranium and orange essential oils and on the big one, it says made with notes of red currant and geranium essential oil. It doesn't say anything about orange in this one, but they both say geranium and my mom smelled it and right away she got like rose. I think if you generally like floral scents and you like like the rose candle and you like like uh, rainforest gardenia and all of that, this is a really nice twist on that. But you guys know I don't usually like floral scents at all and this one, I don't... I don't know how I feel about it. I'm intrigued by it, I guess. I like it, and I gotta smell both. They are the same, but <laughs> it's like, I like it even though it's a floral scent, but I don't like it because it's a floral scent. I like what else is going on in this candle. It's kind of like you're getting a sour fruit type of smell with a floral. And I think I compared it before to like a wine type of scent, almost like, you know, Yankee's Vineyard or something, but like mostly floral, just a little bit of that. And I will say, I think what I like about it is more just the tanginess. It's, it's got some tang. And my nose and my brain picks that up and picks up the little bit of fruit in there before the floral. Whereas like my mom smelled this right away and was like, ooh, that's a floral scent. She wasn't into it. Um, but I think either way, if you like floral or if you don't, give this a cold sniff. It smells really true to what it smells like on cold. I was struggling to describe this in my haul video and I'm still really struggling to describe this. I shouldn't have even reviewed it. This should not even be a video on my channel. It's going to make me seem like a really bad reviewer because I'm just having a really hard time with this scent. But I'm very interested to see how you guys are going to describe it. I know also it's been compared to the old Tomato Garden failed test scent, and I had mentioned in my haul video that this doesn't smell anything like what I would imagine a cherry tomato would smell like either, but, um, you know, hey, I, I believe it, and that had currant in it too. So if you were looking for something that was like that, maybe this is it, kind of back. Um, it's very strong. It's very strong as you would expect a floral scent to be, but even this little single wick was really kind of filling my living room. I was very surprised, and that's also part of the reason that I wanted to try the three wick. But I wouldn't say that the three wick is overwhelming. It's strong. It's noticeable. It's like a nine, but it doesn't make me sick. I don't hate it. Again, like I would normally feel about a very floral type of scent. I mean, I want nothing to do with rose or rainforest, forest gardenia at all. It's just super powerful floral. But the little bit of tanginess, fruitiness, fermented kind of wine smell in this. It's just enough to take the edge off. And I kind of like it for me for something different. I will not be purchasing any more of it though. This will be plenty for me because it's not really my thing. But every once in a while, I might be kind of in the mood for this. So I do recommend giving it a sniff. If you like floral scents, I definitely recommend it for you then. And anyway, I'm gonna stop there while I'm ahead. That's my review of Current. Um, again, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm sure I'll be back soon with more stuff because holiday items are just pouring in now. So I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Catch you later. Bye.